So, see you guys later. Um, so, I'm a teacher. I've dedicated my entire life to bringing education to kids. I get underpaid, and that's totally cool with me. I was a Peace Corps volunteer in the Middle East where I witnessed absolutely atrocious education conditions. I was working at schools in West Africa last summer where schools were really, really bad. And I see slowly that the schools in this country are turning into that. They're getting privatized. These kids have test after test after test. If you're an English language learner in the Anchorage School District, five weeks out of the school year are dedicated to testing to make sure that you're proficient. Proficient in what? Proficient in marketable job skills? What about critical thinking? What about actual critical history of your country? Learning another language? Language besides English. These are the kinds of things that will bring a vibrant democracy to, to fruitation, fruition. I don't even know. It bears fruit. <laughs> and it's not happening. Why is it not happening? Because testing companies can make obscene amounts of money off of creating the Alaska High School exit exam. Testing companies make an obscene amount of money off, off the SAT, off the ACT, off the GRE, the GMAT. You name it, it costs about a hundred dollars a test and why so that you can hold out your credentials to somebody else and what about textbooks textbooks are expensive they're over a hundred dollars a pop and who makes it three states Massachusetts Texas and California if it doesn't fit in with the local politics that are going on in those states it doesn't get put on a book that's ridiculous I want to teach evolution not Tejas intelligent design give me a break